Voice over LTE. What is VOT, Voice over LTE, and how it compares with Voice over IP? What is VOTE? VOTE is voice over IP over a 4G LTE data path. It's basically voice over, the, over data in a mobile network. It's based on the SIP protocol and the session initiation protocol, and it's part of the IP multimedia subsystem. IP multimedia subsystem is the core of a voice over LTE. What are the benefits for of voice over LTE for the operators, for the mobile companies, an efficient use of a spectrum instead of establishing a circuit. Voice over LTE is based on packet switching. Convergence. With the convergence, you can use the same infrastructure, the same IP multimedia subsystem to provide voice to fixed terminals and mobile terminals at the same time. So you can use the same infrastructure for all. Rich multimedia services such as voice, video, chat, and file transfer. So this is an advantage for the user. The user can use advanced servers over a voice over LTE system. Increased battery life. It consumes less battery. It delivers a crisp calling experience. So the experience, the voice experience is better than the normal phone network because you can use wideband codecs. You can use more bandwidth. Provides a fast call establishment, supports offload to voice over, over Wi-Fi. So in some places where, where you do not have coverage of 4G, you can have coverage of voice over Wi-Fi and it will work. And supports also fallback to 2G and 3G in the case you don't have voice over LTE. The biggest difference between voice over LTE and voice over IP. Voice over LTE requires a QoS component. Voice over LTE uses IMS, the IP multimedia subsystem, and a separate radio frequency to manage the quality of transmission. QoS provides jitter control, network prioritization, and dedicated bandwidth. So it provides uh, tools to increase the quality of the voice. The result is Voice over LTE offers better quality. It's better than the normal uh, mobile call because you have high definition voice and the QoS eliminates most of the drops, jitter and disturbances on your voice call. So it, it won't be clicking, it won't be distorting. You're, you are not going to see metallic voice in voice over LTE. QCI, uh, QoS is implemented using this technology, the KCI, it's implemented by the policy control system, part of the IP multimedia subsystem. So it's a mechanism used in 3GPP LTE to control the quality of service. 3GPP is the standard for mobile networks. Uh, KCI is a scalar where it designs certain types of requirements for certain types of traffic. So it controls what the node, the node is the part of the mobile system connected to the antenna, uh, what the node will give to this class of traffic in terms of bandwidth, latency, packet loss, and so on, right? So there are specific problems. Let's, let me give you an example. So these are different classes of KCI. If you want to see the complete specification, you can go to the 3GPP standard and check the policy control system for a mobile network. So a KCI of one is conversational voice. There's a packet delay of 100 milliseconds. The priority level is two and the packet error loss rate is 10 to minus two. So it tolerates more the, the packet loss, tolerate a little less the packet delay up to 100 milliseconds. And it's one of the biggest priorities in the system. There are smaller, yes, the 65 has a priority level of 0 0.7. So it's mission, mission critical, user plane, push the top voice. So there are, there are many classes for different types of services 
on a mobile network. And Voice over LTE has access to this KeyOS system present on, on a mobile network. If you compare to uh, WhatsApp or Telegram, there are over, over the top system, they are known as an over the top system. They cannot implement anything related to quality of service, while Voice over LTE can use the best of the mobile network for your voice call. Codecs for Voice over LTE. You have uh, four codecs, the AMR narrowband. So you have a smaller band for strictly voice. Uh, use it on 3G and 4G. The bandwidth is very small, 4.72 to 12.2. Then you have wideband. This is already uh, high definition voice. So usually narrow band is four kilohertz. Wideband, usually you have a range of voice of almost 20 kilohertz. So if you are playing music, the amount of band that makes a lot of uh, a lot of difference. Let's suppose you are talking with another person in a different continent, with an, in a different language. It's hard to understand. So if you have a high definition voice, you're going to hear a lot clear, clearer the other side. So it uses a little more bandwidth, 6.6 .6 to 23.85 kilobits per second. It's very surprising that they can get. HD voice with so low bandwidth. Extended at AMR, full band, so you have a, a bandwidth that it's even higher, 6 to 48 kilobits per second, and enhanced voice, uh, voice services, super wide band, including all the above, maybe 48, uh, 48 kilohertz of, of bandwidth, super high definition, uh, from 5.9 to 128. Even so, even very small, really, the bandwidth required for super high definition in a voice over LTE. So voice over LTE is very promising because you can really have a much better voice with using very little bandwidth. Uh, vote components. Vote is based on SIP. On the session initiation protocol, it uses TCP TLS instead of UDP. It uses things such as uh, acknowledge of provisional responses (PRAC). Uh, That's the RFC 3262. Private headers, private headers for P asserted identity, there's a caller ID, P caller party for uh, the dialed number, um, P charged vector for billing. Uh, there are network info. There are many headers. Uh, additional headers to, to make this network works. SIGCOMP, signaling compression, it's capable to compress the SIP signaling uh, very much. Diameter, diameter plays a very important role on voice over LTE. Diameter was supposed to replace radius, but actually diameter is much more sophisticated. It's part of the home subscribe server. It's highly involved on policy control, KOS. There are many things being used uh, on this system with diameter. RTP and RTCP, real-time protocol, real-time control protocol, same components of a normal SIP network. How can I use Voice over LTE? If you want to enable Voice over LTE, it's very simple. Verify if your network supports, if your mobile operator supports, verify if your phone supports, Enable on the phone, so check your specific uh, company, your specific model to see how to enable. And if you have a friend using an LTE network, uh, make an HD uh, voice call to him. If he also have to need to have the voice over LTE enabled. If you want to implement voice over LTE, if you want to implement voice over LTE, you have to implement an IP multimedia subsystem. I suggest you to check the project Open and IMS Core. Uh, the Focus from Hofer in Germany made a lot of effort to make IMS simpler and easier to implement, even for smaller companies. So this ends our lecture about Voice over LTE. Thanks for watching. See you in the next in the next lecture. Thank you.